I just, I just got one question. Yeah. Why this Kolovari D? Why does this Kolovari D? Yeah. You can just... That's... Uh, you know what I think the answer is? The age-old question. I think the answer might be... Bernard. <laughs> I'm a little late on that internet trend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction scene. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. He calls on Instagram. Instagram. Twitter. It's so juicy. Content. It's so juicy. Follow us on Facebook. It's a tiny platform. It's a little informational video. It's called Eight Things You Should Never Do in Public in India. Intercourse. Or, I guess you could. I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> you've been there. So I'm assuming this is probably going to have like a lot of like PDA. And probably. Stuff like that. So you've been like with Androni Al. What would you say it would be in this list? Well, it depends on where you are. Mm -hmm. Because I know in... Uh, there's not one general thing. No, I yeah. Say. I know like, for example, in... Uh, I asked her before my first trip to Kolkata or Calcutta. I had asked her... Like when I, I showed up at the airport, it was really cute. I saw her for the first time and I said to her, I said, can I give you a kiss? And she got up on her toes and gave me a quick little kiss. But that was really, that's really all you can get away with as far as PDA is Even concerned. as a foreigner? Yeah. Oh, is it because she's... Like, I remember we were walking down the street. The fuck out of my wife. We were walking down the street in, in Kolkata <laughs> after having eaten and I was filming. This was on one of my videos and we were holding hands. And then at the end of the video, I gave her a kiss. The number of comments I got from people who said, don't do that in our city. That is so inappropriate. We don't want to see that was astonishing. In Mumbai, nobody cared. <laughs> yeah, so I'm guessing it's gonna be stuff like that. If I'm ever in India with my wife, uh, you can shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with attire. There's things that Indrani can wear in Mumbai and not get looks, but in Kolkata, she'll get looks. Same thing in Delhi. I guess someone wants to watch Prime Video right now. Sorry, I don't know why that changed, guys. Uh, but here we go. Do you have a, you have a ghost? I think so. There we go. How many of you have India in your bucket list? I've already been. That was a silly question. Keeping in mind the country's diversity in terms of culture and food, loads of people flock to India every year. Is this a white person it narrating this? Because the country caters <laughs> to everyone. From luxury travelers to backpackers to people looking for spiritual solace. Even though India is ideal for your much needed getaway, you might experience a cultural shock, especially if you're a Westerner. Don't drink the water. I don't want to scare you, but you're prone to making some cultural Don't do that off. publicly. Now, the good news is that Indians are Ooh. pretty forgiving towards foreigners, but a little knowledge lasting? about the norms would save you unnecessary embarrassment. Number one. Don't be offended by intrusive. <laughs> that's, just a heads up. That's, that's accurate. We we experience that. Or that not just verbalized, but plans. when you're looked at. You see some eyebrows raising. Income, but relationship. Yeah. Yep. Indians. And even Personal just this look all the time. Like this one are not intended to offend you, but are the Indian way of bonding. Inquiries about your income, job, yeah. or family matters may be seen as intrusive to the West, but for Indians... These are random conversations. That's, that's you can accurate. be as discreet as you want in answering them. You can lie or give a vague answer. Don't if lie. You don't want to tell the truth. Always lie. But don't be offended. <laughs> that just wasn't their intention. Number two, don't strike up religious or political. No. Sounds strange, but it's true. That's true. That should have been number one. But I guess that's true here as well. Yeah, but. It, questioning their yeah family. i guess it's a little different oh my stars yeah a little different Telling yeah someone that you find flaws in their religion we'll, or how they we'll mention that they're almost connected so yeah we'll mention why i think it's even more with that fashion you've ever got you bet as for the sensitive issues like the ones about Kashmir, <laughs> countless indians discussing these topics because below the cover of unity and diversity, there are cracks that could turn into huge gaps. Indians have opinions. Matters. And if you're not Indian, political conversations you are commonplace. Don't need to stick your nose in that. Yeah. And while a lot of them would be open for debate, but you might receive heavy propaganda from some people when you beg to differ. <laughs> Number three, don't address elders by their name. All right, now, huh. this is going to be a real cultural shock for the Westerners who have been addressing elders by their name. You do not do that in India. 
Any attempt from your side to keep your Western way of addressing elders by their first name will be met with a disgusted look if you're lucky, or may even get you beaten up black and blue. The last bit was a bit of a stretch, but ask Indian kids. It holds true for them, though. Anyway, He's the point is that Auntie. such a way of addressing is seen as insulting, and even though this isn't your intent, you will be punished for it. A better alternative would be to use sir, ma'am, or add a G after their name to stay on the safe side. Number four, don't display affection publicly. <laughs> this does not apply to big cities. Stop me. But step into smaller it doesn't, see, it doesn't apply to big cities. On base cheek and voila, you have officially opened yourself for some bashing. India is a lot more okay. You guys come to LA, you're going to be astonished at what you see. Fornication in the streets. <laughs> earn you a lot more disgusted looks. Though the country is gradually opening up to this, most people are not comfortable. Yeah, I think we BDA talked to people in Mumbai and how different it is. Even from Delhi. Uh, Delhi to Mumbai is different. Delhi to Mumbai is even different. Maybe questioned. Even though they're both big cities and certain things are that's not really the ones you have to worry about. But it's... Left there. I mean, Number five, don't question anyone's sexuality. India is more or why? less homophobic, which never lets people come out of the closet. If you find two guys holding hands, I think people will differ from that. They're gay. But and I understand what, what they're saying. Will you ask them about their relationship with each other? Calling someone gay is seen more like an insult than a general inquiry it's about an their sexual preference. Similarly, <laughs> think twice before you make your deviant sexuality evident in the country, because you may not receive uh, the same respect. And it depends on where you are. You Again, not had you not revealed your true yeah, self. Yeah, it, it, it all depends on where you are. The LGBTQ community is a personal choice. But it is still a taboo in India. It's, not a it's a long fight before acceptance seeps in. Yeah, Number what? six, <laughs> don't give in to the plight of beggars. Poverty yeah, is a big it, issue in India. I think you told me something about this when we were there. Yeah, there's country. certain certain beggars things. Beggars are sprawled on the streets with their bowls, asking for money. The level. Yeah, yeah. I remember the kid came up to our window. Yeah, the level of persistence. It was nice to have Indrani with me because she doesn't take anything from anybody. Yeah. So she was like, but they're they're beyond aggressive. Oh yeah, they are. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially compared to here. Yeah. Here you just get verbal barrages from a distance. Yeah. Probably good actors, but if you really want to do something for them, hand them some food, but money is a complete no-no. Number seven, don't expect everyone to speak English. If you're planning to jet off to India, you probably oh, know that it is should expect anybody anywhere to speak English. No. <laughs> Even in America. And the dialects vary from places. Most Americans are shocked so that speak English, as many Indians speak English as do. It's like the most English-speaking nation. Yeah, but America. a lot of Americans don't realize how many Indians speak English. Yeah. I don't think Americans expect yeah. Indians to speak English. Yeah. Conversing would be a problem. Well, so don't expect one universal language to India. Language will go a long way it's a ton. Your trip hey, we've been there! Yeah! Learning some words of their language will make them you know words? respect their culture. How much I need learning <laughs> And then using curse words in their language. That's just the one I remember you saying. Number eight, don't think about beef. That depends yeah, on where you are. Where you are. In, in South, if you're in the South or if you're in Kolkata, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Know, so it depends on where you are. It's more of a Hindu thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Eating beef in India. Once again, there's no Absolutely universal there's, thing. There's you over can't. 200 million Muslims. Yeah. yeah. Eating beef is not only looked down upon, but it's also illegal to some extent. Depends, well, depending on where you go. Depending on where you go. <laughs> so your chances of encountering I think we're Indian. Are ever I think we're so Indian small. now. But in case you do find this delicacy, check Because, <laughs> like, we, we're like, area. no, that's <laughs> not true. <laughs> <laughs> like, we know, like, right? we've been in it now. We're like, yeah. Like, no, no, that's not true. But it's better to be. Than sorry. What are your experiences about India and the cultural difference it has from the West? Tell us in the what comments. Was what below. was that? Yeah, yeah what film was that? That was a weird clip to have in there. Yeah, so some of them were, were very accurate. Some of them were accurate depending on depending where, where you are. are. Yeah, and uh, the I think I, I was almost understood what they were saying about the LGBTQ, but also they made some misstatements there as well uh because obviously ma gay marriage is still not legal right in in india and it right. ju like it just became decriminalized right not too long ago even though they have a long history and it probably came from the british in terms of yeah the the current view of it yeah and i'm glad you pointed out the wording they put there because <laughs> it's still really prevalent around the world it's like so corbin when did you choose to be heterosexual yeah uh it was when I was three. You had all you knew. You had all the options on your plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, what made you choose to be hetero? Well, I came out as straight when I was twelve. 
Okay. Yeah. But prior to that, it was a you shock. attracted the boys. It was a shock to my parents. Was it? Yeah. yeah. But then it turns so, out my brother was the gay one. It, it, news <laughs> alert. Somebody who's attracted to the same gender, oh. that's an attraction. It's not a selection. <laughs> In the same way that some people like the taste of mustard over ketchup, they didn't make the choice to do it. It's just that's their natural inclination toward that thing. I think what they were saying is, since obviously it's still uh, taboo, to, especially to the older generation, some of yeah, them, yeah. and the fact that it's still not legal in terms of And it depends, marriage. again, where, where you, you are. are. Of course. And then the political part. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> we, we know we that. We know that. But here's, <laughs> here's the thing I would, I, where there's a difference uh, in the two. So in American politics, yeah. um, I have found... When Indians wanted to talk, like during the election, when Indians wanted to talk about what's going on in American politics, for me, even if they were in a position where it's opposite, or even now, if they say something that's in opposition to what I feel, mm -hmm. I like the engagement and I like talking about it. Yeah. And it, I'm actually impressed when they know a lot about American politics and yeah. they want to talk about American politics. I have found the opposite to be true. Oh, yeah. That they, if you talk to an Indian about Indian politics, to talk about it. they will tell you, shut your mouth, you're not Indian. That's true. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that's accurate. Yep. But they also they will, they will say that about a lot of things, <laughs> about movies, about almost anything that if you disagree on. It's almost like shut up. You're you don't live here. Like it, it happens with movies and, and and all that videos, music, all that kind of stuff. But it always happens with politics. Yeah, you will like just you will <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't even have to be. I mean, the most obvious is is anything that's Indian or American. But even if it's an international story, yeah, uh, the if it begins to hinge upon the rights of India in some way, yeah, uh, and you're not Indian, at least that's been my that's what I've gotten from folks is yeah. don't talk about that. You're not Indian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've gotten that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think most of it was accurate. Some of it was I don't know that that's how I would have said it mm -hmm. but obviously a lot of it was most of it that's uh, pretty accurate i would like to know what you do call like uh elders and obviously it depends on the elder do you just call I, I mean it's not very difficult for me because i come from the south and so anybody older i usually call sir or ma'am uh, me too and then uh, it's just that's a it's a common courtesy thing here of respect yeah southern especially in the south because obviously yeah. manners are ingrained if you are come from the south, I mean I've other places as well, but especially the south, they really care about manners. Yeah, thank but one, you, sir, ma'am. One of the differences, though, is that in both, and you may know this, uh, in Hindi as well as in Bengali, and it's probably true in the majority of the Indian languages, that it's inherently part of the language to have your words and sentences altered based on respect for elders. Or the way you talk to someone younger than you. All of there's different words, and even the way you choose words in a sentence. Like if you were to say to somebody, this is just an example off the top of my head. If you were to say, uh, "This bowl of soup is for him," if it was for your little brother, it would be said one way. Mm -hmm. If it was for your uh, twin brother, it'd be said another way. Mm -hmm. If it was for grandpa, yeah. it would be said another way. In English, we would translate it, "This is for him." Yeah. But in Bengali or Hindi it's going to be changed <laughs> dramatically to offer the respect to whomever it is. Even if it's a group, if it's a group of elders, yeah. they, that they sentence will be different to show the respect to them. So uh, I think the whole, even, even the thing of like, it's anticipated if you're with someone that's elder and you go to their house, the touching of the feet, yeah. things of that nature where, but I, I think I don't agree with what they said there in that regard. My experience has been that, whenever you do something like that, like when we were first learning what, that Zakir Hussain was Ustaji Zakir Hussain, most Indians were incredibly gracious about, by the way, Except for that one comes you way. fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I think there's a lot of grace that if you were to show up, for example, at, yeah. at, at the house and grandpa was there. They're pretty gracious. And they said, this is my grandpa. And you said his name. They would probably tell you privately, by the way, yeah, no, you don't know this. They're not gonna like shame you right there. No, 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 I no. <laughs> yeah, they, it made it seem like if you call them that, you're ousted from the country. No, not it's, at all. <laughs> not at all. That's not the vibe. I, I think. But I think obviously, if, you need to be conscious of the culture and how how much respect they give to elders. Yeah, for sure. And the other aspects too. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So overall, I think good video. Good. If it, if any information was incorrect, blame the video, not us. 
uh, we didn't make this video and being gay is not a choice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Da din din 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 da din din